Hey everybody, welcome to another random game on Shrinking. If you're new to this channel, one of the things I like to do is to take older games and open them up and see what's inside these nice big boxes here for these PC games, and then actually try out the gameplay as well. So if that's something you're interested in and you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe now and hit the notification button so you can be notified the next time I do a video like this, which is usually pretty often. The game I have here today is called Leisure Suit Larry's Casino, and it was released by Sierra for Windows 95 in the late 90s. I guess it's copyright 1998, you can see over here. And uh, this is a casino-based game based on Leisure Suit Larry, as you can see over the picture over here. I did not buy this back in the day because it's not an adventure game, and I was like really disappointed, actually, that why are they making a casino game? In the Larry games, anyway, they have casino games, which I didn't really like that much. So, and I'm not so interested in casino games. I want an adventure. But you know what? At this point, it's like... I'm so desperate for a real Larry title by Al Lowe, and you can see the picture over here of Larry and Al together, that, uh, you know, I decided to pick up the casino game. Maybe it's maybe it's good, you know. I mean, it's not that bad. Casino games aren't bad. Back then, I was sort of protesting, like, you know, why not have an adventure game, but I'm sure this is a good game. And the box is pretty cute. It's a little beat up. It's sealed with stickers at the top and the bottom. No shrink wrap, and that's because the, there's a nice gatefold cover here. That opens up and you can you know tells you more about the game. So obviously if it was shrink wrapped and you were in the store, you wouldn't be able to open this up. If it was shrink wrapped, so they just taped the top and bottom. The problem with these tapes at the top and bottom is it's very easy to reseal them, and there's no guarantee really that it hasn't been opened in the past. So I hope it's a brand new copy. I'd like to think it is. Obviously it has some wear and tear on it, it's beat up. I don't really care that much as long as it's actually new and I, I get a new game inside. But I got my big kahuna knife here, so let's open it up and see. What we actually find and just have to slice it really easily there we go let's see what's in here i hope it's new we got a cardboard insert this is standard for these basically big style sierra boxes from the late 90s as they all had the same type of standard cardboard insert and what do i got here i have a world opponent network some kind of networking thing. I don't know why you need networking. I guess you can play casino games online. A registration card. Not filled in by anybody. That's just a decent sign. I would expect this to be shrink wrap though, and it's not. And it's very dusty and dirty. That doesn't mean anything necessarily by itself. But let's see what we have inside here. The CD... Uh... It looks, I think it's clean and unmarked. It's hard to completely tell. It looks like a lot of dirt, like dust got into this, which is makes sense. It wasn't shrink wrapped, and maybe that caused a little bit of smudges. Let me see if I can take the manual out. It's very thick, and it sort of probably was a little bit too thick to stick in this jewel case, but they wedged it in there. So let's take a look at the manual. Welcome from Allo. That's pretty cool. Installation, gameplay, oh, online means you're playing with other real humans. Offline is considered practice. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's anything, probably like a casino game. What's the point if, you're, if it's not real money? But that's another reason why I wasn't so into it, but uh, whatever. Options, go online. I'm assuming that doesn't work anymore. Credits, so Allo designed, wrote, and directed this. So it must be good. Um, Oh, the Legendary theme song composed by Al Lowe. Uh, additional credits, voice casting and director Al Lowe. There's obviously a bunch of voices in here. Jan Rabson, I think, is the guy who plays Leisure Suit Larry pretty much in all the games from 6 on. Oh, wow. Some of the, looks like a bunch of the people from, uh, from Leisure Suit Larry 7. A lot of the characters are in this game. That's interesting. I didn't know that. This, some people call this Leisure Suit Larry 8 because it was basically there was nothing else after this aside from the... The weird remake stuff that's pretty much all garbage. And then you got a picture of the cast with uh, Al and some of the other Sierra folks. Including Al Euphrasio. Definitely heard of him. I don't know if I pronounce his name right. Anyway, let's open up the game. Let's 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 try the actual game out and see if it's any good. Alright, so here we have Leisure Suit Larry's Casino. Now, this game was a real pain to get running in Windows 10 because it, re it requires 16-bit color, which Windows 10 does not natively support. And so as a result, even compatibility mode didn't work, and I was forced to use VirtualBox to run this in Windows 98 Second Edition. I guess this intro sequence here, even though it's very jerky, is sort of showing 
Captain Thigh, I guess, from from Lucy Larry 7, kicked him out, and now he's going to go start his own casino or something like that. Um, by the way, I didn't mention in the other video, I'm pretty sure the, the, the game I had was, um, was originally sealed, because it seemed like it was complete, but I'm not really sure what it's supposed to contain, so if anybody knows otherwise, please let me know. Anyway, this is the introduction, um, sort of the, the menu, or I guess the intro screen for Leisure Suit Larry's Casino. Alright, there we go. That time it actually worked. So, this is interesting. You start off in this game and you're like, what the heck's going on? This is supposed to be your hotel room in the casino, and basically you have the worst, like, hotel room possible. It's like a dead guy over here, the mirror's smashed, electrical outlet's coming out of the wall. You do have a, a hot tub, but it's a very cheap one. And the, the running gag is that there's tons and tons of background noise. It sounds like you're in New York City or something with, like, sirens going off and ambulances and honking horns and God knows what. Not a very good uh, room, basically. But if you go into the uh, Cyber Larry 2000, you can sit in the hot tub and you can hear Larry tell you a joke. So let's see what it is to say. There's random jokes that they put out there. On a train from London to Manchester, an American was berating the Englishman sitting across from him in the compartment. You English are too stuffy. You set yourselves apart too much. You think you're above everyone. <laughs> Look at me. I'm just me. I have Italian blood, French blood, a little Indian blood, and some Swedish blood. What do you say to that? Very sporting of your mother, the Brit replied. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> so anyway, you can see here, listen to jokes if you like, or you can leave. Um, there you go, leave. This is a, this area here. You can select your avatar. In case you, it doesn't Next really matter for the, the offline version. If you're playing online, it makes a difference. So let me just select her. Yes! I'll be Drew Good Barrymore. You'll be happy with this selection. Basically, you can pick your own avatar, and then if you look in the mirror here, it'll show you here's the person you picked. So now I'm in the main screen with the uh, the casino map, and you can sort of hear all the noise and hustle and bustle of the casino. Now, when you try to go to these places, one thing you'll find out right away is that all these rooms on the outside, basically you can't go to because it's a funny comedy club. This game may only be played online. And uh, you used to use this thing called the World Opponent Network, W-O-N, to go online, which obviously doesn't exist anymore. So basically you can't play any of these games. And actually, uh, I had messaged Al Lowe earlier today because um, I was trying to ask him how to get this drawn in Windows 10. And he basically said that the servers for the online part were hard-coded into the code at the request of management. <laughs> and so basically there's no way to, to even update them if someone wanted to set up like a private server or something. So basically the online component of this game is completely dead. And unfortunately that was, I think, a big component of the game, to be able to interact with other people and some of these activities. So really all you could do is pretty much the standard type of casino games. So here I'm going to go to the poker table. I think this is like a, a nude casino or something, or clothing optional. This game may also be played online, but it doesn't have to be. So you want to go online now? No. And then I'll get some opponents to play poker with. Now, the poker, the games are, are fine. Here I come! But the people are very chatty, and Larry apparently is the dealer for all the games. If I press deal, Larry actually deals. And this is like some kind of one of these poker I games where, the, where there's a pot. I just have to. Is a little, uh, so they're all like in a hot tub, I guess you're also in a hot tub, and if you're playing online it would look like this as well. Um, but, you know, it's, uh, I mean I have terrible cards, but I'll, I'll call whatever. But like, I don't need this funny iPhone. Honestly, like, these guys oh, like, myself? talk a little bit too much. It's actually it's something you Dig can adjust though in the boys. settings. You can I'm adjust how much they talk and how sassy they are, so you do you have that option. Not. But obviously, a game like this is not going to be so much fun without the online component. Um, I think it even says in the manual, like, Here you know, you you all will probably fake money, essentially. So what's the point? Monsieur Bubbles, I got to see another card. All right, card. my cards are terrible here. I'll call. I'm going to fold and get out of here. You get the idea. Check. Can let me leave? I pass. All right, yeah, I walked away from the table. I can right-click and go to the menu and then say, go casino map. Oh, here's the options here. So you, you can, like, basically say uh, dealer voice on and off, atti attitude meter, quiet or talkative. So you can adjust some of that stuff. It really depends, like, I guess, how lonely you are. Uh, I'll show you the blackjack. But again, it's pretty simple stuff. If you play any Suit Larry game, you, for sure you've done gambling. You probably have 
the gambling many times in your life. Sorry I'm late. It's like I'm the only guy working this shit. Yeah, so, so Larry again is the dealer. This one, for some reason, you have to like drag a chip on here to bet. I don't know why they make it like that. Stand. All right, Spread so I'm, I'm going to hit on that. One more. That's a little Another. bit of interesting voices that guy does there. Apparently, he's lots of different uh, personalities or something. <laughs> Eat me. Eat me. That's well, supposed to be a joke. I could be taking another card, but uh, this time I will not. So these are not like really very, uh, I don't know, interesting personalities necessarily. Uh, 18 and 8. Uh, I guess I'll stand. I mean, I'll hit. I have an ace there. <laughs> Alright, 19 to 9. I guess I'll stand now. All right, so Did I won. I mention me parents were anyway, you get the idea. It's 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 blackjack, right? Nothing too simple. It's nothing too you know excited. So that's the idea essentially of the game. Is you know you you walk around, you can play different things, you can play craps, you can play uh, roulettes, you can play slot machines. But you know, again, without the online component, I think a lot of the the fun of it unfortunately is gone. You know, you can play slots all day long, but. Uh, you know, almost what's the point? And now the uh, the audio like screwed up on me here. Oh man. Anyway, you get the idea. But anyway, hope if you hope you like this video. Um, if you've played this game before, you have any thoughts on it, let me know. And uh, if uh, you liked it, please hit like. And if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. But I'm most interested in your comments, so let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think of the game. If you've played it back in the day, if you played it recently, if you'd ever consider playing it again today. I love Al Lowe. He's a great game developer, um, but, you know, this is probably not the game he really wanted to make, just the game that he had to make. So, <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoy that. Have a great day, everybody, and see you again next time. Bye-bye.